So if you're following me on social media, you're probably aware that I was planning on doing an updated bleach hair video, but some files got corrupted and now I'm gonna have to like re-record doing my roots. So since there's gonna be a delay in that, I thought I would put this video up sooner and then that way there isn't such a long gap and you don't have to be so patient with me and how long it takes for me to put a video up. So yeah, what I've got for you today is a little haul of trinkets and treasures and just oddities. So yeah, let's begin. So yeah, the first thing I found is this Japanese, um, like, parasol thing. I think it's a parasol. It's definitely not waterproof. It's old and it's got holes in it and stuff. But ain't it pretty? I have another one like this in my bedroom. So it's maybe the beginning of a collection. I'm not going to intentionally start collecting these things, but this one was just so pretty I couldn't really leave it behind. The next thing is really going to demonstrate how much of a like potential hoarder I am and <laughs> this is technically broken. So you see this right here is the top. This is obviously the bottom of it and then you've got the main body of it here and oh, it's so heavy. I didn't actually even think of trying to use this for its actual purpose. I'm gonna repurpose this somehow i'm not too sure but one thing i've already thought of this is gonna be a crown oh no didn't think this through if i only had a brain funny story i actually once slept under a bed in my room in it had like a, a big candelabra chandelier whatever they're called type thing and um it fell down luckily i wasn't in it at the time but it fell down so yeah would never use something like this, but pretty. Now the next thing is basically a print that my sister had made up for me. So they're completely unique and the illustrations are from a really old cartoon called Hoppity Goes to Town. And when I was a kid, in all honesty, it wasn't really my favorite of videos, but my sister liked it so much. And then it, she always used to steal it from me and stuff. And so it kind of has a really big sentimental hold. And when I opened these, I was just, so overwhelmed. It's just so pretty that she had them made and yeah, I love them so much. Thank you lovely sister. And then I got this. It's quite out of the ordinary from, well I don't know actually, a lot of the things that I have are out of the ordinary so it's completely wood, it's solid and obviously it's solid. Why would it be a hollow wooden structure? That would be way too much effort than it's, anyway. I just couldn't leave it behind. I think it might have been a paperweight at some point maybe? Or a doorstop? I don't know. I also found this really cute photo frame and it has this really pretty kind of golden sunflower effect. But now I'm faced with the problem of needing to cut a photograph that's firstly small enough and that I don't mind cutting up. So yeah, that's a, that's a new addition. And then another weird thing is this old letter opener and also <laughs> probably a dangerous weapon because yeah, that's the kind of thing you need, isn't it? It's like a hamster sword, isn't it? Oh, hamster sword fighting. That'd be so cute. Obviously like, you know, they wouldn't hurt each other. Just the idea of them going on guard. That's funny in my head at this moment in time. I've been up for a while, if that helps explain anything. And then I also got some books and I'm not gonna show all of them to you because I've got quite a lot, but the ones I picked out to show you. Firstly, we've got, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, I think it's Henri Bu, I don't know. First steps in French idioms. But yeah, the most amazing thing about this book is that it's over a hundred years old. It was published in 1888. That's, this is an old book, like, and a peasant like me has it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then I also found this really beaten up copy of Gone With The Wind and I'm not particularly fussed with the story but I was just so taken with the colour of the book and the fact that you can tell this has been read like... Sorry, by the way, if there's fluff flying around that I haven't been able to kind of like see before I've like shown you something, sorry my dog's molting at the moment. And so yeah, every single time I move I just like unleash a flurry of fluff. A few people have actually like commented on my videos before who have seen them and have thought they're orbs. So yeah, <sighs> sorry to disappoint those people. I'm not followed by a ghostly friend, elfo, 
that I know of. Um, just a lot of fluff. Anyway, someone has given this book to someone and signed it in 1937 and it was originally published in 1937 so this is like a brand new book and it was a present obviously at the time. Okay now this last book that I got I quickly just picked it up because I just thought the illustration on the front was really really cute and it would just look nice kind of just you know with my collection. But yeah, when I opened it up, when I got it home, it has some really beautiful illustrations in it, but a rather uncomfortable factor in this book. This guy kind of gives a bit of a hint for what's to come. And then when you turn the page over, it has the story of the Gollywog. So yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but um, the Gollywog always has been a very controversial, initially children's character, illustration figure of some description it's typical of a lot of depictions of its time so yeah it's just a bit of a grim reminder of human history so I guess I finished on a really cheerful note didn't I I hope you enjoyed having a look at all of this odd stuff with me and um, you weren't too bummed out by my seemingly innocent looking children's book if you're not already and you want to follow me to kind of keep up to date with what I do because I don't, as of yet anyway, have an uploading schedule, but I do update my social media letting you know what I'm doing so you know that I'm always planning something. It just, I'm still learning everything at the same time, so I don't want to rush myself because then I get all stressed because like I'm a terrible perfectionist. So I really appreciate your patience with me not being like 100% regular. Let me know what you think of this video because if you like it I can do more of them. If you don't then I won't and yeah I shall see you soon.